I'm tracking a very dangerous weather situation ramping up today and continuing throughout the next few days across the Mediterranean in the midst of a very active and dynamic weather pattern. My last video focused on the timing and some of the impacts that these large areas of low pressure could bring, but one hazard that really stands out as newer model guidance becomes available is the potential for dangerous severe storms across the western and central Mediterranean. In fact, this multi-day outbreak of severe storms that I wanted to focus on in this episode was sparked by a large area of low pressure which arrived at the start of the week, the same one which had the potential to bring widespread strong winds across Ireland and the UK between Sunday and Monday, yet that didn't really come to fruition since that low stayed weaker and curved off to the north, impacting Iceland more directly. It's a reminder that things can still change quite a bit with short notice, and other hazards like severe storms in this case can become a greater concern as newer model guidance becomes available. So with that being said, take a look at the satellite and radar data as of this morning. There's already a lot going on after this event initiated yesterday. Several thunderstorms are already ongoing, especially over the open waters of the Mediterranean from the Balearic Islands all the way over to Italy. Beyond that, a new area of low pressure is arriving in Ireland and the UK today. This one is small and weak, so nothing more than rain and a slight increase in wind can be expected. Over Germany into portions of Belgium and the Netherlands, a pretty large area of moderate to heavy rain continues to drag north and east. This started affecting the region yesterday, so many places have seen several hours of heavy and continuous rainfall, which is why red warnings were issued in some locations. Then, in the eastern half of Europe, less action overall compared to the west, but a few upper-level disturbances are causing some pockets of disturbed weather over the Black Sea and also over Hungary, Romania, Slovakia, Ukraine, and Poland. Some rain and storms are also lifting north over Finland from a separate system. Just for the remainder of today, lots of things are going to happen. Rain will slowly slide east into France and northwestern Iberia, and then this is going to be joined by an even more significant wave of rain coming from the next disturbance. Also, watch those upper-level lows dancing around in eastern Europe, causing more rain and storm activity around Ukraine, Poland, Romania, and the eastern Black Sea. And then the most noteworthy event of the day is going to be the outbreak of severe storms ramping up in the Mediterranean. Watch as storm coverage increases during the peak heating hours of the day, even across North Africa. During the evening and overnight hours, all of this is going to start to noticeably shift east. That means Corsica, Sardinia, and the majority of Italy is going to be in for very heavy storms tonight. And then not long after, all of this crosses the Adriatic and slams into Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, and Montenegro going through Wednesday. Thankfully, we should see those storms weaken once they move further inland, but the threat is going to continue into Wednesday night and Thursday across the southern half of Italy and also into Bosnia, Montenegro, Serbia, Kosovo, and Albania. Finally, Finally on Friday, things look a lot quieter for the Mediterranean except for eastern Spain as a very dynamic weather pattern remains locked across Europe. This is generally how much rain we can expect through this Friday. Starting over the Mediterranean, we can see very significant amounts of rain from the Balearic Islands and extending into the Adriatic region. Those orange and especially red shades indicate as much as 100, even approaching 200 millimeters of rain in a matter of four days. That's not to mention isolated higher amounts being very possible, so I think it goes without saying that flash flooding is going to be a major concern in addition to all the severe storm hazards, including large to very large hail, damaging wind gusts, and even tornadoes. Other areas to watch for heavy rainfall include the Black Sea region, especially in Georgia into nearby portions of Ukraine and Russia. Also in northwestern Europe, numerous rounds of rain can be expected this week, and this is also going to include days of scattered showers and thunderstorm activity streaming off the ocean, and that's why this weather model shows many coastal areas with much higher totals, but keep in mind that this could extend inland as well. Plenty of rain is also in the forecast for Norway and Sweden. This will be from a variety of sources, including bouts of rain straight from the Atlantic, the remnants of the storm outbreak in the Mediterranean, and also from an upper-level low currently located in Eastern Europe. That's going to be all for the weather forecast section of the video, but please enjoy the featured media slideshow made possible by the community.